Hello once again everybody, I am returning, just very briefly, to a point and click adventure game. This one is called Serena. Apparently this is the result of a massive collaborative effort between dozens of fans and designers of adventure games, including the guy who created Scratches. And you know what else? It's a free game, so I thought I had to give it a go. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. So yeah, this has just been released, I'm going into it completely blind, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll see how it goes, I suppose. We've got a photo right in front of us, let's have a look. Right, you have a, a ghost wife. What's Serena? going on? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? I don't know. Presumably that's me then. I don't know what I'm called, but that's that's Serena. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Fair enough. My love. Yes, your love doesn't have a face. Why is that? Strange thing is, I can sort of see her face there. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, can I can I leave the, this chair? I'm actually sitting on a chair right now. Let's get off. This is reminding me a hell of a lot of like scratches, to be honest. Yeah. What's what's this? What is this? Now, that just seems a little bit odd to me. Borderline creepy. What is that? Can I examine it? I can't. That's very odd. Okay. Let's have a look at the door. Can I open the door? Can I go outside? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. There's still something for me in here. Right, so I've probably got to find something. Okay, uh, there's a massive chest in front of me and there's something written in this sort of like portrait frame. Uh, let's have a look at this first, I think. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Why can he not remember his wife? Anyway, let's, let's have a look at this. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oisin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. I will take your word for it. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Okay, anything else? Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Very well. Okay. Let's take a look in this chest right down here. Here we go. Something draws me to this trunk. Ah. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Uh, I'm not sure. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Well, there seems to be a keyhole here, and I don't believe I have a key or even an inventory, so, um... Unless I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button. Let's it's just... too painful. I want to, but not yet. It's it's too painful to, to open the trunk? What's in the trunk? What's in the trunk, man? I need to find a key. I definitely need to find a key. Right, so... Uh... Okay, I... No. No. Or well, you can control with the arrow keys, apparently. Kind of. And if you sort of right-click your cursor becomes a little bit free. This is a lot like, um, this is a lot like Scratches, actually. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Fair enough. Right, where exactly would you store a key? Now, if this was Scratches, probably would be in there. So can we go, <laughs> can we actually have a look? Uh, no, apparently we can't. But, um, let's have a look at the bed. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Dude, too much information. Please, please stop. It's a beautiful day. 
though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Are you sure it's a beautiful day? Because all I see is shit smeared on the windows. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. Yeah, the hazy afternoons because of all the shit on the windows, I think. Right, uh, we got a little dresser here. Uh, can I have a look? There's a mirror. Uh, there's a mirror and a comb. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Okay. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. Okay. Well, she had blonde hair then. Maybe maybe that's what I've got to do. I've just got to look at everything in this cabin just to sort of bring back the memories of her. I, I assume she's dead. I think. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Okay. Um, let's back out of this, I think. There's a few drawers here. Ah, it looks like you can actually look inside them, so let's have a look. Uh, uh, there's a pills here, I think? They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Okay, I'll just leave that then. Ah, uh, let's get out of this. What about the other side? What we got? Ah, oh, we got keys! Excellent! These keys are for the cabin and the car. The cabin and the car. Now, when you say cabin and the car, does the cabin mean the trunk? If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Hmm, okay. Well, uh, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I guess I can't pick them up. Maybe I don't have a reason to. He said it was too painful earlier. I don't know. Um, we'll come back to that, maybe? What's in here? Oh, okay. Hello. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Okay. And then you toppled us oh. on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you when we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Right. Well, it sounds like they really loved each other. And they're very, it's very been eloquent. It's so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. Serena. And it looks like we have a watch here, which I can't interact with. Okay, I got some money as well. And uh, I think more clothes or something like that. I don't know. Down here. Uh, yep, clothes. Can I peel back any of these? No. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Okay. I presume she's not right next to me. Yeah, that's just like my memory. Okay. I still haven't found like a, like a key to pick up. I don't know. Um. This does make a lot of noise, doesn't it? The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. I can understand that. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. 
as long as we were together and happy. Right. I, I don't want to click on the bed again, just in case they go into details of their sex life. So let's just take a look at uh, in here, for instance. Okay, we've got some, um, some magazines, it looks like, and some sheets, bedding, something like that. I can't interact with any of it, so uh, we'll leave that. Turn the light on. Sibling, this lamp would last for months. But that, that one wouldn't. We used to keep a pitcher of water and a glass on this nightstand. But they're not here now. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go have a look at that wardrobe over there. And I suppose the other the other table over here. Let's have a look. Open this up. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Okay, can I not open it? We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Okay, I guess not. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Okay, there's clearly there's clearly something odd here. Because he won't open the trunk because it's too painful, and he won't open this. Okay, what about these what about these three down here then? Oh no, I can't open this. Just clothes. What about this one? Uh, yep, clothes. Can't interact with it. There's a, there's a rather big one down here. Let's take a look. And would you believe it? Just more clothes, bedding, and something like that. I don't know. Okay, um, so yeah, other side, other table. What's in here? What we got? Okay, um, we got a Bible here. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. Okay. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. So I suppose not. You're right. I'm really getting a gone home feel out of this. And a scratches feel. It's, it's, it's as if they had a kid. And I'm, I'm fairly sure I know the voice actor from somewhere. But I'm not entirely sure. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Very well. Okay, so what's the problem with this lamp? Apparently there's a problem with For it. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Okay, so you remember all these really subtle details, really really niche sort of details, but you can't remember your wife's face. That I find strange. That I find very strange. And that picture I find even stranger. What does that say above the door? True friends stand by each other through any adversity. Fair enough. Okay, let's go around here and let's just take a look at uh, everything else. We got a, a chair here. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. Whoa, that's somewhat creepy. That's extremely creepy, actually. Well, this is a weird place. I mean, this is... This is just odd. This is very odd. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I wouldn't know because I can't see out of it. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, loads of loads and loads of books over here. Let's take a look. What we got? Vanishing Town by Michael Arthur. That that is in scratches. I'm certain of it. I'm set. Let's have a look at all these books. I mean, can I can I have a look at Vanishing Town? So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. I'm fairly sure it would. Dalmar Folklore by Augustine Cords. That's the guy who did scratches. Right, he's a... Right. That explains a lot. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. That also reminds me that Asylum is coming out pretty soon, so I've got to keep an eye out for that, because that is, that is something I'm definitely going to play. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. There's something I have to do. Yes, what, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Grab the chair? Oh, no, that sits down on the chair. Help me, wife. Oh, shit! I, okay, I've got a face now. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Fair enough. 
the guy who snapped this, our host that night, right. used an actual film camera. Wow. It was a different world back then. It kind of was, wasn't it? It kind of was, right. Well, okay, um, I think I just need to keep sort of getting memories back, basically. What's this? That's a very loud clock. You may be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. I'm feeling ki kind of lost now. Can, can you help? All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? I don't know. It looks like we've got even more books down here. I need I only examined the, like, the middle shelf. Let's have a look. I just want to kind of have a look at the the authors, because I think you might see some names you might recognize. Uh, what? Froboz Mumba? Mumba? That, that can't be a real name, can it? What's up here? What we got? The thing she said to me in, the mirror, in our life before things went wrong. Did she ever mean them? This is getting slightly more sinister now. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. Okay. I almost have it. Ah. What was she trying to tell me? Right, if I keep re-examining things, I seem to get different memories back, so... Let's just go through everything in the house. This is actually quite, quite fun, to be honest. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. Yeah, it's just taking a bit of a turn for the worse because he had like joyous and happy memories before, and now not so much. I her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. Okay. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. How we talked indeed. Right, okay, let's uh, let's have a look at the chair that I apparently can examine. I kept saying I'd paint these chairs, add some color to this place. One more thing I never got around to. How I long to see her sitting in this chair again. It must be any minute now. She must be coming back. I don't think she's coming back. That's like the whole plot of this game is you're waiting for your wife to come back, but I don't think she is going to come back. And I think there's a reason for that. Um, there's something just very odd about this. It's very creepy, actually. It's, I don't know. Can I leave? Why? I might just as well stay here. No, no, that's that's a good point, I suppose. Can I open the chest? Can I can I can I get the prompt to get a key or something? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. What else shall I look at? That's, um... Years passed, no tears Has that changed? Fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. I think that's changed. I'm not... a hundred percent sure. Time works differently in the other world. Actually, I'm sure. There's something different about this. She's gone, and even then, I just keep reading. But it's always been my way of looking for answers, processing information. I can think of worse ways. Right. So, I'm assuming that she's died, unfortunately, or she's left him, or something like that, and he's just sort of... He can't accept it. Something like that. Uh, have a look at this again. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. Yes, I can see that. That's going again. That, that's, well, that's, that's chimed like twice in five minutes. What's going on? There's something a little bit odd about this. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. Well, let's examine the bed. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Right, yes. I, I can't help feeling she's died. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary oh God. things. When 
was the last time we made love? I really don't know or want to know. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. Yeah, well, look, hang on. Last time I examined the armchair, she's just, you could hear her mention something. She wanted to talk about something. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Okay, let's just keep keep going. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Right. Of course, we made love here, too. Oh, God damn it! There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Really? And I've been putting my hand all over the place. Oh, whatever. It's your hand, I suppose. <laughs> it is really stupid. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Okay, that's just... Well, we, we've heard that before. Bed, of course. Okay, uh, just keep examining stuff. This chair's numbed my back. Hers, too. But I just got used to it. Um, I, I want to have a look at new ones. the plate. Can I can I have a look at the plate? Our dining table. There you go. Oh. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> what? Pig and Pepper. Alice in Wonderland. You know, all these associations, links, plays on words. My head is full of them, and it never stops. Is it my imagination, or are you using even more these days? She had a point. I am on medication for blood pressure, after all. That is true. We did find your pills. Maybe you took an overdose, and that's why you can't remember anything. It's different. It is, isn't it? She's it, angry. It just... It can't be different. It is, yeah. She's unhappy. Well, she didn't look particularly happy the first time. Am I going mad? Probably, yes. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? If you're mad, yes. My love. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Fair enough. Okay. It's very odd. But everything just keeps slightly changing. Maybe I can take those keys now. I'm fairly sure those keys are going to unlock this. Maybe... Can I just... Can I just open this now? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. You don't have the strength to lift the lid. Why can't... Why can't I open that? It... You know, quite clearly, it's got the, uh, the icon to, to use it. The same same with the armoire thing over here. I presume I can't open that as well? I know it's my general state of mind. Yeah. But I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Why? Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Yeah, that could be it, I suppose. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be. Arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. Are they in here? No, they were in here some... Up there? No, no, there's the pills. She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. I've been so immature about these. Even resorted to the old pill under there the... There it goes again. More than a few times. Better. Right. Okay. Here we go. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. Oh, okay. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Huh. Uh, we are gradually remembering more and more, but... Unless... I don't know why I can't pick them up. She was the one who left. Possibly. That would explain a lot. All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. What's this? <laughs> nice drawing. Waiting for us. <laughs> yes. This is definitely by the creator of Scratches. That's great. That is waiting for... That is me, basically, at this point. Just waiting for Asylum to come out. Can't wait for that game. Really can't. Uh, right, so I can't take the keys, apparently. Um, the music has is, is got even darker. I wonder if anything more has changed. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. Yep, this guy has just gone into full depression mode right now. Um, I think... 
I think maybe the chimes signify that things have changed. That incessant noise. Yeah. Smash this useless antique to pieces right now. That's quite a change from what he said in the first place. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? <laughs> this is quite cool. I like this. Uh, 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 let's have a look at this. It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Where is it? I feel so turned around. I can't be happy. Oh, I know. I, I, I wonder if the photos changed. I mean, uh, she looked pretty like sad yeah, last time. Oh, oh, oh! This is different. This is different. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a. We weren't supposed to fight here. I think we're getting somewhere now. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Maybe not. Right, I was going to have a look at the photo, so I think I actually have to sit down on the chair to have a look at the photo. Yeah, she looks really, really pissed She's off. She's angry now. Yeah. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this. That could be a bold man in a reason? wig. I just feel numb. Beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Was she? Why did I let her do that? I don't know, man. I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. <laughs> okay. So why are you still waiting for her then? Too upset to even think straight. Fair enough. We'll ignore it. I hate her so much. <laughs> Fucking hell, okay. Yeah, if you hate her so much... Can we just leave? I guess not. A part of me still thinks you'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. No. I keep going back to this trunk. Can we open the trunk? We can. We can? I think we can because we're angry. We didn't need a key after all. What we got? What is this? A jewelry box. What is it doing here? I don't know. That's like the first thing I've actually picked up, and I don't believe I have an inventory system. Um, anything else in here? There's a little, like, catapult thing here. Slingshot thing, whatever. There is this. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic world you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me anymore than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Wow, that's friggin' bitter. What the hell? Okay, they both hated each other 
uh, you know, in the end then. I guess she has left him. That's pretty much confirmed it. She kept her secrets. I should take a look inside. Where to put it? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. Right, is that it then? There was just that sheet in the jewelry box. The jewelry box that I've taken and I can't seem to do anything with because I don't think they, I have an inventory. I probably just haven't found the right button. Uh, right, okay. Well, that explains why I didn't want to go in there. I'm sort of like denying myself the knowledge that she hated me. Has this changed? <laughs> it freaking has. This is pretty cool. Changeable man. Insolent wretch. <laughs> Sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananan. What was it? Machler? Mananan. Mananan. No, probably not. Okay, I've got to have a look at the photo. I mean, is she even more pissed off now? I mean, is she giving me the finger? Nope. No, I don't think so, but I'm expecting that hand to move, actually. She's going to give me the finger. Or she's going to punch me in the face in the photo, or something like that. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, if I could open that, maybe I can open the armoire now. It's worth a shot, I think. I want to know what's inside this thing. I just need to set it down somewhere where I can sit down and open it. Oh. Oh, I think I'm talking about the jewelry box. Ah, uh, yeah, we can sit down. Right, sit down and open it. So let's go back over here. Uh, sit down. I'm really curious about the contents of this jewelry box. There you go. What's in the jewelry box? Oh, there you go. That confirms it. That's a wedding ring, right? Her wedding ring or mine? I'm guessing hers. What is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? Long gone. No. It can't be true. You probably can. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. You didn't do it? What do you think you've done? All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. I think he said that lies. before. I couldn't care less about this damn boy. Torture myself trying to remember. Right, okay, I I think I get it now. If you hear one of those last two, or maybe one of those last three, like, pieces of narration, I think you can't get any more information from the thing you're trying to click on. What I want to know is, what are these? Are they earrings? I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. Right. So you don't hate her? I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? Here comes the anger. Go on. I'm too upset to even think straight. <laughs> I hate her so much. There you go. I don't think I'm going to get any more out of that. Uh, there's nothing else in here anymore? Okay. Very strange. i got to check the photo again. I'm expecting it to change at any moment. No. No. I gotta say though, she does kind of look like a bold man wearing a blonde wig, wearing some lipstick. I don't know. Not a good look, really. But never mind. Um, let's examine the armchair again. Can I do that? This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn. That damn talk. But what did you talk about? I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. All of this... These... Here we go again. That, that, that's it. Years from our relationship. They're all gone. Okay, so yeah, she, she left him, basically, and he just can't deal with it, I think. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. <laughs> My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. With never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. I think I cut him off saying something there, just like automated, so that might have given me a hint of what to do next. Um, I can't help but feel I should probably just leave. What is that? Just like a stain on the carpet? I think. Can I have a look at that? 
I feel like throwing this chair through the window. <laughs> All right. But that would just make me even angrier. Nah, do it. Revel in your anger. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces. Yes, do it. Do it. Do it. Right, can we look inside this now? It works with the, uh, the trunk. Oh, yeah, we can! Okay. What do we got here, then? Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! That's what I did! My god! What is this? It can't... It isn't... I think it might be. How did it happen? I... Can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? Quite a long time. And actually, you know what? That would, that would explain why everything in here looks kind of shabby and, you know, sort of dirt-ridden. Uh, this is a bit weird. It's dry and withered. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Very long time ago. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? I hear talking. Let's, can I just shut this back up now? Right, I know what happened to Serena. I think I killed her and stuffed her body in the armoire. Yeah, I can definitely hear talking. Where from? Let's go out. Let's, let's see if we can go outside. Those noises sound like more than one person. Who can it be? Please? Possibly. Let's go outside. Are they coming for me? I deserve it, but I want to see who it is first. Okay, we'll look through the window then. Oh, oh, okay. You can actually see them through the window. That's cool. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. You spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. What? That's a... Uh, uh, no. No, thank you. Let me leave. Oh my god, I can't actually get out. They're gonna... They're burning. Oh god. Shit. You forgot your fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Uh why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. I can bear to wear it any longer, safe. Oh, they're talking about the, the wedding ring. Wait! Am I the dead guy? That was her, wasn't it? What? Okay. Okay, that was Serena, everyone. That was quite a nice little surprise. I, I like those little free games that sneak up on you and actually turn out to be quite good. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story and design of Gustin Cord. That makes a lot of sense. That's why it felt like scratches. Yeah, I really liked that. I mean, it did have the gone home feel, sort of, with the, the scratches sort of play style. I liked it quite a lot, actually. I probably went through it quite slowly, but, um,. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a story guy, and I kind of enjoyed hearing all his, his inner monologues, basically. It was really well done. Really well done. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.